Okay, I'm selling my 1989 Toyota pickup. Um, Hilux, I believe is what they call it. Uh, this is a four-wheel drive V6 automatic. Um, almost uh, like 193,000 miles. I'll show you in just a second, I don't know. Um, it is all stock underneath. Um, the front torsion bars have been raised, and that's about it. It's all stock suspension. Some oversized tires that need to be replaced. You got some wear on them. You can see there. Not pretty much all that way. So the front does need some camber adjustment. That's why they're wearing unevenly. Probably some new bushings up top, something like that. So uh, it is it does have the Tacoma stickers, but it's not a Tacoma. Um, this is before the Tacomas were out, so not a big deal. It is the long bed model, so it's got the long six foot bed. Uh, a little bit damaged on this side over here. You see right there, nothing too crazy. It has been repainted. I, th I believe the original color was silver or gray. Um, this color would need to be buffed out, but I'd probably just say re spray the whole thing. Uh, it's not the greatest quality of paint, but it, it is it is okay. A few nicks here and there, obviously. Missing a piece there. Oh, I guess I should put the damage up front here. So you can see missing a fender. Uh, this piece is damaged right here. This is all creased in. And underneath, and then it's bent up a little bit down here. Uh, there's no frame damage. You can see the frame, it actually shifted right here where the lift kit's installed. So if you pulled everything that way or spaced it out, it would probably be just fine. Um, some damage to the floor support. Let me see that here. So you can see there's uh, damage on the core support right there and right in that area. So ideally it would be replaced the core support, but you could pull it and it would be okay. Uh, so V6 engine uh, runs and drives excellent. Um, I'll start it up in just a sec here. I'm going to show you around the engine bay. Um, overall it's pretty clean. Nothing maintenance wise needs to be done right away um, not that, way, that I know of anyway. Uh, like I mentioned, the front, if you look, the control arm there is back a little bit, so that's probably going to need some new bushings, and that would straighten the wheel out. Um, there was, I believe, some damage to this crossbar right here. Uh, you can see that's supposed to be straight. It's not. So um, what that resulted in is the steering wheel being crooked while you're driving, so uh, that was probably something you'd want to get addressed to be safe. So. Uh, inside's okay shape. This door panel could use a re recover, but it's okay. Uh, seats are in really good condition. Uh, not even very dirty. The the floor, you know, the carpet could could be uh, could be up updated. It's pretty rough, uh, but you got some floor mats in here. Uh, back seat looks good. A little dirty. Not very used. Uh, Right here, so we've got one nine three three nine six on the odometer. Um, like I mentioned four before, the radio is missing. Uh, there is one speaker in here. Uh, AC does work. Um, it's not very cold, so it probably could use a charge. But it, it does turn on and it does compressor turns on and it runs. So uh, four-wheel drive works. Hasn't been used very much. So uh, start right up. Start right up. It's cold engine. Just started it cold. So. Uh, the, you can see the speedometer is broken, the needle's broken off there. Um, also, this ignition's jacked up, but it does work, but it, the key doesn't stay in, so it's kind of, you know. Um, e brake works, all that good stuff. Uh, there is wiring in here for an amplifier, uh, RCA's and power wire, so you can run an amp in the back if you wanted. Um, Rover are pretty good. Um, I'll rev it up. And it runs really great, really good. Uh, no transmission issues, no shifting issues. Uh, it has a brand new carrier bearing installed. Uh, ready to go. Need some love. Need some little bit of work here, but uh, driver, great driver. So, give me a call.